And we have Ahmed from Canada. Yeah, I just want to ask about a question. You know, in the Shahada, Ashadu Anna Muhammad, Muhammad Rasulullah. So, uh, or Ashadu Anna Muhammad and Abduhu or Rasuluhu. So, I want to ask, uh, you know, Abduhu, there's like two meanings, right? So, like, there's that the, uh, the, the, the Prophet is the perfect uh, slave, of, like the best, he's the most pious, perfect uh, yeah, perfect slave of Allah. And also, he's, the second meaning is that he's he's a slave of Allah, so we don't worship him. But could you expand more on the first meaning I said about does, does it mean he's the best worshiper of Allah because of he got uh, revelation? Or is it because, like, uh, so what is it exactly? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. From Canada. Ahmed's question is not clear. He says that you know that in Shahada, which is a testimony, we say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammad al Rasulullah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. Sometimes we say, Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is his servant and his messenger. So he said, Can you? expand a bit because some say when we testify that the Prophet is Allah's servant, is Allah's slave, um, that this means that he's the best of Allah's creation because the term slave is the highest in worship to Allah Azza wa Jal. I would say that this interpretation is not generally correct. Abd means servant or slave, but it does not entail that he is the best of all creations because even the angels say that we are Allah's servants and slaves. Other messengers described in the Quran to have said that we are the servants and slaves of Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah has given us a revelation, etc. So this is not a correct interpretation. However, there is no doubt that the Prophet ﷺ is the best of the sons of Adam. So he's the best human being ever. And whether he's better than the angels or not, whether he is the best of Allah's creation or not, this is an issue of dispute, but we believe that he is. Therefore, there is no need to go to um, other interpretations that are ambiguous and not crystal clear, and Allah Azza wa knows best.